for Comedy Hype News, I'm Tatiana LaJoy. The 2000s was a time where TV sitcoms centered mainly around families. Fans loved TV shows such as Roseanne, Even Stevens, Kenan and Kel, and Malcolm in the Middle because we were able to watch kids go through the relatable trials, tribulations, and growth spurts as they found their independence. As these child actors went through these experiences on screen, they each had their unique journeys navigating their lives growing up in Hollywood. Some child stars of the 2000s emerged from having their own TV shows, starring household names such as Raven Simone, Miley Cyrus, Miranda Cosgrove, Shad Moss, and Frankie Muniz. Starting a career in Hollywood so young has affected child actors in various ways. Some have decided to leave the limelight to live a regular life, while others carried their momentum to fame. Stars like Frankie Muniz with undeniable charisma, incredible work ethic, and magnetic personality was one of the anomalies that rose to stardom quickly, but we haven't seen much of him since he left his hit show, Malcolm in the Middle. Many people wonder what happened to this beloved child actor after he left Hollywood. Here's what happened to Frankie Muniz. Francisco James Munez was discovered at eight years old at a talent show in Raleigh, North Carolina. Frankie tried acting because his sister convinced him to audition for a play and booked his first audition playing Tiny Tim in A Christmas Carol for three years. Munez shot to fame at the age of 14 when cast as Malcolm in Malcolm in the Middle. A show's success can be measured by its income, awards, ratings, reviews, or the number of produced episodes. Malcolm in the Middle checked all the boxes with 151 episodes produced throughout seven seasons. It was the hottest, highest rated television series in the history of the Fox network when it first came out. The show starred Frankie Munez as Malcolm, a genius teen trying to survive life with his dysfunctional family. People predicted Frankie Munez would become the Fred Savage of this generation. He was considered one of Hollywood's most bankable teens and one of the most popular child stars. Fox premiered Malcolm in the Middle in 2000 and the show received immediate success. When the show first aired, Munez was making $30,000 an episode at 14 years old. Over the next seven seasons, Munez's wages rose over $100,000 an episode by season five. It's rumored that by season seven, he was making $150,000 an episode. This show was one of the first to film in single camera style. This style gave a more clean cinematic look to the sitcom. The show appeared more realistic and there was more mobility between shots to use techniques such as panning. The downfall of shooting a single camera is that it is more expensive to shoot, which makes the show more vulnerable to cancellation. Shows such as Friends, Seinfeld, and Saturday Night Live use multi-cam to film. These shows also use laugh tracks while Malcolm in the Middle didn't. Taking the laugh track away allowed audiences to decide for themselves when they wanted to laugh and allowed for a more genuine experience. With Munez anchoring the show with his charming narration, the show stole the hearts of millions of people and made Frankie Munez a household name. Although he starred in one of the most memorable situation comedies of all time, Munez has little recollection of his time spent filming the sitcom and other blockbusters such as My Dog Skip, Agent Cody Banks, and Big Fat Liar. In a recent interview, Munez said that many people's assumption was that he couldn't remember being in Malcolm in the Middle at all and is somewhat handicapped. These rumors were birthed from the comments that he made over the years about what doctors were speculating from his symptoms. He suffered nine concussions in the past, the first one being when he was a goalie in soccer game when he was seven. In 2012, he had a mini stroke and a second one less than a year later. After many doctors and tests, it's determined that Munez suffers from severe migraines. Munez told People in 2019, I only know what it's like to be me or have my brain. So I'm only reminded of how bad my memory is when people I see, they come to me and go, oh, you remember when we did this? Remember when we went on a trip to this country? And I have no recollection of it. But in my head, it's not like I feel bad or sad about it. When Munez was on Dancing with the Stars in 2017, he opened up about his memory loss and how his wife Paige Price helped him start a journal to write things down. I, you know, she started writing the journal for me just because I get, I get sad of the thought of losing the memory. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, good or bad. You know, yeah. I just, I, I love to be able to look back and she's, she's a writer too, so she's really, she is amazing in detail with the way she writes to where it really does help bring me back. And uh, I just, I love it, so it's, it's pretty cool. Malcolm in the Middle ended after its seventh season due to cancellation from the Fox network. The show fell victim to the network's constant shuffling of its time slot. When it debuted on its traditional Sunday spot, the show was very successful, averaging more than 10 million viewers per episode for its first four seasons. 
However, after switching its time from 9 o'clock p.m. to 7.30 p.m., ratings dropped dramatically. Eventually, the network moved the show on air to Fridays at 8.30, following the Bernie Mac show. That would be the last season for both shows as ratings were abysmal. The network tried to make things right by moving Malcolm in the Middle back to its original time slot for its final 11 episodes, but at this time, the show's fate was already sealed. After Malcolm in the Middle was over, Munez said he hadn't done much else but work for the past 12 years, which would be a lot for an adult actor, let alone a child actor. He took a step away from acting and decided to pursue other things. In Hollywood, Frankie Munez was the kid with the fancy cars who was barely legal to drive them. After Malcolm in the Middle wrapped, he decided to pursue a full-time career as a race car driver. The actor first became interested in racing when he was invited to take part in a pro-celebrity race in California in 2004. He started driving in 2005 while he was still filming Malcolm in the Middle and started racing professionally after the show ended. Frankie said cars were his vice and that's why he started driving professionally. I want to want to act and right now I just want to race. You can't really juggle both because if you do, you just don't get enough time in the car. Truthfully, I think it will be easier for me to leave for a while and come back to acting when I'm 23, 24, and I'll be an adult then and start fresh. Right after Malcolm ended, Munez moved to Phoenix, Arizona and pursued a career driving. However, he broke his back and had several pins in his hand, among other big injuries. While he was healing, he started doing other things, and it's been years since he's raced. However, in a recent interview, he revealed that he will be driving again in the upcoming year. From 2012 to 2014, Munez became a drummer for the band King Soil. He hasn't touched a drum set since his last show at the University of Wyoming. He said being on the road was too much for him and recounted how they did 300 shows in 2013 alone. Munez and his band didn't travel in luxury either. He drove a 50-passenger van himself with a trailer and slept on floors to ensure they didn't spend too much money and maximize their earnings. Although Munez said he never took a sip of alcohol or did drugs, many child actors inevitably end up with a scandal or two. He was involved in a domestic dispute with his ex-girlfriend over past relationships. Frankie allegedly grabbed a gun and held it up to his head with the intent to commit suicide. Frankie argued that this was all a lie and that he fell and hit his head as she was yelling at him. He went to the hospital to treat his injuries, and when he got back home later that evening, she claims that he punched her in the back of her head and threw her into a wall. He denies this happened as well as stating that he was trying to sleep and was only defending himself when she woke him up screaming and hitting him. After the dispute, they reconciled and continued their relationship for a while longer, until he met his wife, model and actress Paige Price, who he married in February 2020. Frankie didn't return to Hollywood, but still stays in the public peripheral by being in several projects, such as The Surreal Life on VH1, a reality TV show that records celebrities that live together for a few months in a mansion. It airs in January 2022, along with Tamar Braxton, Dennis Rodman, Kim Coles, and August Alsina. He's also starred in movies such as The Black String and Another Day in Paradise. People have approached Munez about a reunion for Malcolm in the Middle and Agent Cody Banks. They wanted to make Malcolm into a movie, and that could still happen since there is a script in development. Munez spoke on a collaboration with MGM for Agent Cody Banks as a cartoon character and or as the grown Cody Banks training his protege. Now Munez runs a small specialty shop called Outrageous Oils and Vinegars in Arizona with his wife and their eight-month-old son. It seems like Frankie has lived five lives by the young age of 36 by being an award-winning actor, race car driver, drummer, olive oil seller, father, and husband. Munez said he has no idea where he'll be in the next six months, but what he has coming up is the most exciting potential that he's ever had. Stay up to date with the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel. Follow Comedy Hype across all social media and look out for original content on our new streaming service at ComedyHype.com. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Tatiana LaJoy.